With 2019 coming to an end, we can turn our attention onto 2020 and beyond. Some fairly minor changes coming through in 2020 around IFRS 3 business combinations. The impact of that will probably see less acquisitions being treated as a business combination and more being treated as the acquisition of assets and trade. We then move on to IAS 1 and IAS 8, and I think people were expecting quite a lot from these changes. However, really, at this stage, it's just about materiality and the consistency of materiality. Conceptual framework is another thing that bites in 2020. Big issue for preparers of accounting standards, probably have no impact on the users and the actual application of accounting standards at this stage, but it will have an impact later on. The big change that's still to come, the last of the big four, is IFRS 17. This represents a fundamental change in the way insurance companies are going to have to do and structure their business. Not only are they going to need a significant amount of data, which is going to take years to create, but IFRS 17 is an accounting standard that is not just about accounting. It is going to cause insurance companies to think carefully about their business model and to think about their funding and their strategy. More on that during the update.